Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. This is a beauty haul. I decided to pick up some things for my hair and I wanted to show you guys since a lot of you seem to be interested in what I use for my hair. Also, I picked up a few other things that are not necessarily for my hair, but I'll get right into it. It's a really small haul, but I still wanted to share it with you guys. I got the, sorry about that, my phone. I got the um, Afro G Keratin 2 Minute Reconstructor. Um, I got it at my beauty supply and I got the large bottle for some reason no the beauty supply that was where I was living before had this for $24 I don't know if anyone of you can recall me saying I always get the packs because I don't want to spend $24 for the bottle this was $8.99 I was like what but anyway, this is my favorite um, protein treatment, um, like heavy protein treatment. So this is like what I love using. So I decided to go ahead and get the big bottle of this. Um, for those of you who don't know, you know, like protein um, treatments and whatnot, I will link in the description bar below my protein um, one on one video. So you can learn everything that you don't know about protein from that video. Um, the next thing I got was um, Cantu Shea Butter Leave-In Conditioner and Repair Cream. Everyone and their mom knows about this, but um, I always got the sample sizes because I was not sure. Like, I'm the kind of person that I could be hooked on one product and don't want to try anymore. But one, I love the scent of this because I've used it a few times before. And I love what it does for my hair. So I decided to go ahead and get a bottle of this. And then the next thing I picked up is the Queen Helen Mint Julep Mask. Oh my god. I used this on my face yesterday because everyone was talking about it on YouTube. How it's, you know, like a really good mask. And it's really inexpensive. It's just like $4.49 I paid four forty nine for this one. And this mask, this mask helps to absorb, absorb um, excess oil, rinses away blackheads, helps minimize the appearance of um, pores. What I did notice when I used it, the first when I applied it, um, I felt the mint in it, the, the but I think it's peppermint or just mint. Um, I did feel the mint in it and then my face started to get, like it started to dry and it turned like a lighter shade of green and you know, it got my face really stiff and when I washed it away, my face was baby soft and I did see the parts that my like the areas that I had honestly I didn't really know where I had big pores you know people would be like oh I have big pores in here and did it I didn't know but when you put it on like it shows where it's working on in terms of minimizing you know the appearance of the pores because I clearly saw the pores in here and on my nose that's where the big pores were so the next thing I picked up was my Ambi um, Even and Clear Daily Moisturizer with a broad um, spectrum SPF of 30. The reason why I love this, especially for the summer, it does not keep me oily and also it has SPF of 30. If you give me moisturizer to put on and you do, and then tell me put on SPF, I'm not going to put the SPF on. I'm just being real. I'm not trying to have three or four things on my face. In the summertime, I get out of the bathroom and I put some rich hazel on my face and literally put this on and that's it. Like, I put, like, put my brows on. I just put pencil my brows in and that's it. That's what I do every day for work right now in the summer. But I really love this, um... Ambi Moisturizer. If you guys want to hear more about it, check in the description bar below for my um, skincare regimen. Like I really went into depth on what this thing does for your skin, but it really helps to, um, apart from preventing sunburn, um, it evens out your skin and the texture also of your skin. So love, love, love that. And then the next thing I picked up was Rome Honeysuckable Amour. And that was from Bath and Body Works. I didn't really get a lot on the sale because last Christmas I went a little bit crazy on their sale and got more than I could use in a year and a half, maybe. So <laughs> that's this is all I picked up and I really, really like the honeysuckable scent. It's nice, um, like soft and musky. That's the kind of scent that I 
that I really like. I don't like the, you know, heavy, heavier set. And then I picked up something that I've been wanting for a while. Um, NYX Soft Matte Lip Cream. This color is in Monte Carlo. And I have, I have one of these already. The one that I have is Sun, San Paulo or San Paulo whatever I have that one and so I really really wanted this red because I wanted that matte red lip and so I went ahead and I picked that up and then I got these I got a lot <laughs> some of them are already open and so far I think I got like five <laughs> yeah I just went crazy so let me tell you the colors that I went ahead and got I got the last color which was dark chocolate and I got two of those. And then I got... No, I got six. Because I think I bought an extra one. Anyway, then I got Toast. And... What is this? Chestnut. And Beautiful Bronze. So I pretty much got all the darker shades that they had. That's pretty much what I did. So... Yeah, if you want to see a review on this, um, it's going to be out, if not before this video. After this video, I'm going to do a review and swatches and so forth of these and let you guys know how I love them. So, um, thank you guys so much for watching my very small haul. I just really wanted to make a video, actually. So, there you go. I said it. I just wanted to come on here and talk to no one. Well, you guys, actually, because I'm home by myself and... I live a boring life, people. This is my only excitement. What can I say? What can I say? So anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. Um, rating, commenting, and subscribing. I love you guys so much. Remember to check out my Facebook page. And check out the giveaway that is going, away, that is going on right now on my channel. And I'll see you guys in another video. Bye, guys.